Hi, welcome again. Today we're going to talk about computers and their RAM. Every computer has RAM. What it is, is it is a temporary storage that the computer uses to remember things and then when you turn off the computer, it clears out the RAM and it starts again next time you fire it up. Today I'm going to show you how to install memory because it's the number one way that you can upgrade a computer for speed and I'm also going to show you how to take it out. So let's get started. Are we going? And here on the table I have different types of RAM. Uh, this is laptop RAM and it's smaller than desktop RAM. You know there's tons of different kinds of RAM um, as technology changes, different uh, configurations are born. So what you need to do is look up the model number of your computer and then go into a place that sells RAM or look it up online and find out what you need for your computer and then buy the appropriate RAM. I just wanted to show you what RAM for a desktop look like and RAM for a laptop. It's about half the size. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to show you how to open the computer. Each computer will vary how you open it, so please consult your manufacturer's instructions. Uh, today I'm going to be cracking this uh, HP open. Most computers open up on the uh, user's left side. So if this is the front, this would be the left side here. Most have a thumb screw on the back. twist. I'm going to pull the cover open. And just for reference, the RAM is located right down here. You can probably see that right down in there. Nice touch. And if you notice, there's one stick in there and then there's one opening that is still available. For clarity reasons, I'm going to go to a motherboard and show you how to install the RAM like that. Here's a motherboard and we were just looking at the RAM slots which are located right here. This particular motherboard has three RAM slots in it. They're located right here. Generally when you buy a computer at least one of the RAM slots is going to be populated. After you've uh, purchased your RAM from the store, you're going to want to make sure that you ground yourself out or wear an anti-static strap to make sure that you're not causing any static electricity. For this demonstration, I'm not wearing one, but you should. Once you get your RAM, you'll notice that there's usually different pin configurations in this particular one. You'll notice that there's two slots, and you'll notice that there's two slots on, on this socket. These holders move like this, and when they're in the closed position, that means they're holding RAM in, and when they're open, they're ready to accept RAM. So you want to open all these up. Take your RAM, line it up, just like that. You'll notice that these two plastic things are still open. When I push down on it, they automatically grab the card, just like that. Let's try that again. I'm turning it around so the slots line up with the, the uh, slots in the holder. I have both of my plastic parts apart. I push down, hear a little clicking noise, and it's locked it in. Let's do it one more time. There's a little trough that these slide into. You just have to make sure that you line them up. One more time. And when these are nice and snug, 
You know you have it? Correct. And that's all there is to uh, installing RAM. Now let's talk, talk about laptops. I have an HP laptop here that we're going to look at. The first thing that you should do, and also when you do this on desktop laptops, make sure you pull the power cord. Don't do this with the uh, power cord on. So I'm unplugging the laptop and I'm taking out the battery. If you don't know how to do this, consult the manufacturer's instructions. If you look on a laptop, a lot of times they'll leave clues. Uh, I know this may be too small to see, but there are little pictures representing what's underneath each cover. In this case, it shows a little, uh, little RAM, picture of RAM, and if you remember, the RAM looks like this on a laptop. And there's a little screw here. Take out the screw. Lift the cover. And here's the RAM here. The RAM's done a little bit differently on a laptop. Instead of having those white plastic pieces on the side, you have two clips on either side that clip into this, this area here on these notches. So what I'm going to do is use this tool for clarity. There are two metal pieces here on the side. If you take and push it away from the chip, you'll hear a little popping noise. Do it to both sides and the memory pops out at you. And then you can pull it straight out. When you're ready to put memory back in, make sure that you line up the slot with the slot that's on the holder. Put it in the upward position and then pushing in and down until the pins catch. And there you have it. That's how you install RAM. At that time you can put the cover back on and then boot your computer. Once you boot the computer it may take a little bit longer than uh, what it normally does to come back on because BIOS will be detecting new, your, your new memory settings. Once your computer comes on if you'd like you can right click on my computer uh, found under the start menu and then go to properties and it will tell you how much memory that you have and hopefully uh, the amount that you had versus the amount you have will be reflective of that. Okay, well thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.